Hello, so this video is to walk through how to access the student courses and fo folder structures for your child. So I am on a parent account and what I'm going to do is up in the upper right hand corner, you might see your name up there or you might see your child's name up there. What you wanna see is your child's name up there. So I'm going to tap here and then you would see your child's name or your children that are on it right here. So I'm going to go to student healing to show then what we would do next. So once you get here, it'll show recent activity. It'll show different announcements. If I go to enrollments, then it will show the grades that my child's currently getting in those classes. I'm going to go back to student activity and then I'm going to go up to courses. And so you'll see the, the courses that your child is in right there because it does have your child's name up in the corner. And then I'm going to tap math course for this one. And then what you'll do is you're basically getting a view of what your student sees, what your child sees in the class. So you notice the announcement up on the top and then you see the folder structure below. And so the folder structure shows um, general resources. So the general resources and support folder is what we're asking every teacher to put at the top of their course. And there'll be different websites in there. There'll be different um, pages in there. The course syllabus or course overview will be in there. And then other materials that the teacher might have the students use throughout the year will be in that general resources and support folder. Then below that, what you'll notice is that as a high school student, the, the teachers are going to be organizing it by unit. So this is a math class. So you see unit one, equations and equal, inequalities, unit two, linear equations and functions, unit three, and so on and so forth. Um, you'll notice too, unit one is the start. And so you'll see that date range, 914 to 924. So that is something to um, consider as the date range will be on the back of that. So this is really how a course is going to be set up. You'll see those folders there. You might see an announcement, which is like the most recent update at the top. Um, and that is the way that you can kind of get a view into your child's class. Now this is, would be on a web browser. I wanted to show what it might look on an app, be it on your phone or on a tablet. So here is the parent view right here. And I'm going to go to the three lines here and I'm gonna start with making sure that I'm on my child. So I'm gonna to go to my children. And then that brings a very similar view to what we saw in the web browser. So again, I can go to courses, go to that math course, and then I'm going to see what it looks here. So if you're on an app or if you're on the web browser, it's going to look very similar and have a very similar feel, but that is how you navigate around. You'll also see over on the right side, you'll see the upcoming, those would be things that are due. Um, so this is a way to be able to take a peek into your child's class to see what is happening in that folder structure.